Hi, is this on yet? Hi. Okay. So um, I'm just doing the YouTube live just instead of doing um, what I usually usually is screencastify. So I've had some students ask me a couple of questions in regards to hybrid and online classes. And I want to explain a few things. A hybrid, a hybrid class that we have here in like on our web development program and we have um, in our Python as well. Um, it means that it's at the instructor, what the instructor wants in regards to how much of it is going to be, the student will be working on their own online at a designated time um, instead of coming to class. And some of it will be, you know, you come to class, like a traditional format setting. Um, for example, what mine's going to be is kind of a flipped classroom model on most of the weeks. So my class is scheduled for Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, um, two different times, two different classes, but similar concept. So my classes are scheduled for Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. And what, what we're going to do, with the exception of the first Monday, because it's the first day of school, um, with the exception of the first Monday, they're not going to be coming to class on Monday. It's going to be, you're going to do an assignment. You're going to do an exercise. You're going to have a deliverable to show that you've attempted to do the exercise and the assignment. And the reason for that is my, my theory, my teaching style um, is the fact that you, for you to, you know, have experience and to fumble and to find what you did well on and what find is like you really struggled on. I want that to be your initial experience and your exposure to a new skill, not seeing it in the classroom for the first time. Okay. So that's how I'm doing mine. And so you do that on Monday on your own, you know, whatever. And then on Tuesday, Thursday, we'll go over it and um, discuss things and reiterate and just make sure you have a good you know, concept of it, a good grasp of it. So for me, that's what my hybrid means. There's going to be some exceptions to the rule, um, but that's kind of the standard that I'm trying to set. Now we have some other, um, other there's other ways that it can be done as well, a hybrid. Um, a hybrid can mean a uh, meeting once a week and everything else being done, you know, virtually, remotely. And that could be through Google Hangouts, that could be, you know, through forum post that can be whatever it is that the professor wants. Um, it could be like Google Hangouts if they decide to use Google Hangouts. It could be, you know, your class time, say your class time is at 6 p.m. Everybody has to be there at the Google Hangouts. It doesn't matter how they don't have to be in class in the classroom setting, but they have to be on Google Hangouts and they have to participate like you would be in class through Google Hangouts at a specific time, say, for example, 6 p.m. That's one way to do hybrid. Another way to do hybrid is instead of everybody meeting at 6 p.m., the professor can schedule individual meetings with the students. And that's another way to do a hybrid. So, and, you know, and there may be another way to do a hybrid that I'm not thinking of as an example. It's really at the professor's discretion on how they want to do it. The expectation of the professor is for them to communicate that with you, what their plans are um, with notice, and, um, you know, what, what their plans are for the week and for the weeks, you know, for the rest of the semester, you know, the, the class that you're in. So um, that's the expecta expectation of the professor for them to communicate what hybrid means to them and how they're going to keep you accountable and what structure that they're going to expe expect um, for you to follow. And the reason that is super important is because of the attendance policy that we, ha we have here at Hawking College. For eight-week classes, which um, are a lot of the ones that were just pretty much everything that's in web development, um, you miss more than one, unexcused, unexcused, you're dropped, okay? The professor sets that expectation of what he considers unexcused. Uh, the, the professor sets the expectation of when you're going to be there, how you're going to meet, how much is going to be in classroom, how much is going to be, you know, remotely, and how much is just going to be on your own, you're working on this. And the reason, one of the reasons that we are adopting that mentality and that model is because that's just the reality when it comes to working in tech. 
you don't always get to be in the same room. You don't always get to be in the same building or the same state or the same country, um, same planet for now. Um, but that's the reason for it. You need to work well when you're not working together. I'm um, the same vicinity, um, vicinity. So that's an explanation of hybrid. You need, you know, I'd stated earlier what the expectation of the professor was for them to communicate with you what their standards are, what the how you're, you're going to be held accountable, and what their expectations and deliverables are. The um, responsibility of you as a student is to understand what the professor is saying, understand. Um, how you know how you're going to you know meet his standards how you're going to understand you know how you're going to be held accountable and make sure you have a plan to do that um the digital divide is still a very real thing even in 2019 and you know which basically means not everybody has access to the same speed of internet you know it's just it's just the truth even at home mine is like very frustrating on some days and that's just the reality of especially in this particular area of the state so but you guys we on campus there's wi-fi there's internet connection so that means it's responsibility of you the student to work with the professor if he says it can be done any time of the day then work with it in your schedule if it says it's got to be done you guys meet at 6 p.m 6 p.m means 6 p.m you know figure out what you need um so we must in all professors are easy to work with. Um, if you if you show that you're given an honest effort, they'll re, you know they'll respect what you're trying to do and they'll work with you. Um, so you'd be a responsible adult and they'll work with you. Uh, let's see. I can't think of anything else I wanted to say. I am very much looking forward to um, for those I haven't met yet, meeting for the first time in person. I know I've texted or emailed a lot of you guys. And for those that have already had, you know, the pleasure of meeting, I'm looking forward to working with you more. And if you have any questions at all, um, my, I think every single one of you have my cell phone number or email. I probably badgered you to death. Um, but that's just, sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, so if you have any questions at all, you know, feel free to um, reach out. Uh, my cell phone number, I'll go ahead and give it to you. It's 740-300-1684. And that's, that's it. Okay. Looking forward to seeing everybody next week.